हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑन पॉइंटर नाउ ऑब्जर्व दैट अगेन अ प्रोग्राम इज गिवन टू अस एंड वी आर आज टू फाइंड आउट द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस कोड यस दिस प्रोग्राम इज एग्जैक्टली सेम एज द प्रोग्राम दैट वी सॉ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो with only one change if you actually open that previous video and see the program this program matches that one but there is only one change over here this statement in the previous program was asterisk p2 equal to asterisk p1 there was asterisk symbol at both sides of this equal to which has been removed in this program so we will see what is the effect of such a statement so that we learn one more fundamental of pointers so starting this program with integer declaration of x and y variables we know that in the memory two variables x and y would be stored as a two byte variable correct because x and y are int variables having value x is having value 10 and y is having value 20 assume that address of x is 100 so the next byte is going to be 101 and assume that y is having address 200 and next byte is 201 now the next line here in the code says that you are declaring two pointers p1 and p2 both are integer pointers so p1 and p2 are two pointer variables also stored in the memory and you know each pointer is always going to occupy two bytes assume that the pointer itself has address 500 so the next byte is going to be 501 and p2 has an address 600 so the next byte is 601 now the next two lines which i am ticking here says that p1 stores address of x p2 stores address of y so p1 will store address of x what is address of x 100 so p1 stores 100 and p2 stores address of y what is address of y 200 so p2 stores 200 now we say that p1 is pointing is pointing to the location of x or p1 is pointing to x whereas p2 is pointing to y now onwards if we see notation asterisk p1 then it means x and if you see notation asterisk p2 then actually we are accessing y so the next line which i am underlining in the code is printing four values four integers and the values it is printing is x y x y i am not going into that discussion now you know that asterisk p1 is same as x or value to which p1 points value to which p1 points is nothing but value of x and asterisk p2 means value to which p2 points that's nothing but value of y so the first output is going to be x which is 10 y which is 20 asterisk p1 which is x asterisk p2 which is y now have a look at the next line which i am underlining how do you read this line you know that p1 points to x and p2 points to y so actually this line means x should become x plus y correct so x will lit literally become 30 10 plus 20 so x becomes 30 means asterisk p1 becomes 30 now the next line is printing four numbers which are x y x y so the output is going to be 30 20 30 20 all these things up to this point we saw in the previous program itself so i have not gone in big detail to explain this but now let's come to the line in which we are interested just check the statement is p2 equal to p1 now what this means exactly is p2 should take the value of p1 literally it is assignment statement lhs should become equal to rhs 
So P2 should become equal to P1 means check the picture here, check the diagram. This pointer P2, P2 should become equal to P1. But what is P1? Yes, what is P1? 100. Yes, literally you check the value of P1. What is P1 storing? 100. And we are saying P2, you become equal to P1. So P2 will no more store 200, but P2 will store 100. This is nothing but value copy, isn't it? 100 is getting copied in P2. Please try to understand if the statement written was, I'll write it here, asterisk P2 is equal to asterisk P1. This was the statement. Then we are making y equal to x. I hope you are understanding. Because asterisk P2 here, asterisk P2 means value to which P2 points. And asterisk P1 means value to which P1 points. But what if I have not written this asterisk symbol at both sides? Then I am working purely on pointer itself. And I am saying one pointer should become equal to other pointer. So P2 becomes equal to 100. Now just check. What does it mean when P2 becomes equal to P1? It means that P2 will no more point to the location 200. Come on now, what is, whose address is P2 storing? P2 is no more storing address 200. P2 is storing address 100. That means P2 will now point. Oh, I am so sorry. Wait a minute. Give me some time. Okay. Just see, P2... P2 will not point to 200, correct? But just check this, P2 was pointing to 200, but now it has changed, it has become 100. So P2 will point to this location 100, that's location of X. Are you understanding when we make two pointers equal, then it means both pointers should point to the same location or both pointers should point to the same variable. And the variable under picture here was x. This is the change which occurs. Now onwards, asterisk p1 still means x. Still means x. Because value to which p1 points is x. But what does asterisk p2 mean now? Earlier it meant y, but now it means x. Come on. P2 is not pointing to Y now. P2 is pointing to X. So now onwards, in the rest of the program, when you see this notation, asterisk P2, don't read it as Y. It is X. Okay. Before we go ahead, just check this. Suppose I have a pointer. I have a variable, let's say, as W. And it is storing some value 20. I have another variable, let's say, M which is having a value 40, okay? And I am having two pointers, let's say P1 and P2. Just check this. If the address of W, let's say is 500, 501, and P1 is storing 500 right now, then P1 is pointing to W, correct? If M is stored at, at address 600, 601, and suppose P2 is storing 600, then P2 pointer is pointing to M, so what will happen if I write P2 equal to P1 in my program? When I write this, then it means literally P2 should become equal to P1. That means P2 should change and P2 should become 500. Just have a look at this. What that means is P2 will no more point to 600, but P2 will point to 500. That is location of Y. So, sorry, location of W. So now onwards, if you write asterisk P1 anywhere in your program, this still means W. But asterisk P2 also means W now. Earlier it was, it was M. Isn't it? So what if, what if we had one more pointer P3 here, just for fun, P3. Okay. And after this line, I said P3 is equal to P2. Now are you able to understand what it means? What will P3 become equal to? Yes, P3 will become equal to value of P2 and value of P2 is 500. So P3 will literally become equal to this value, 500. 
Now P3 will also point to the location 500. That is location of W. So in your program now, if you write asterisk P3 anywhere, this also means W. In this fashion, any number of pointers, any number of pointers can point to the same location. If you want to do that, you just say one pointer equal to other pointer. Now, as a layman, you know, as a layman, how I read this line P2 equal to P1, I read it as P2 must point. P2 is a pointer, isn't it? P2 must point to the same location, to the same location where P1 points. So wherever is P1 pointing, P2 will point at that same location. This is how you can read this particular statement making two pointers equal to each other. Okay, so coming back to our code, I hope you have understood now how P2 points to the same location where P1 points and from now onwards asterisk P2 will be now X because P2 is pointing to X. So what is this line which I am underlining here is going to print, it is going to print X. Notice that diagram X is having value 30. Then it is going to print y, next value y, which is still 20. Then it is going to print asterisk p1. Asterisk p1 is value to which p1 points, that is value of x, which is 30. After that, it is going to print asterisk p2. Asterisk p2 is value to which p2 points. And p2 is also pointing to x. So this will also print value of x. Okay. Now let's go to the next line. How do you read this line? What is P1? It is x equal to x plus. What is asterisk P1 again? x. So x will become x plus x. So x will become 60. But y will remain 20. So what is the output due to this last line? It is printing x which is 60. Then it is printing y which is still 20. Then it is printing asterisk P1. Note asterisk P1 means x. And finally, it is printing asterisk P2. Just be careful, asterisk P2 means X. So this will also print 60. But the important concept that we learned is that two pointers can be made equal to each other just by assigning one pointer to other pointer. And if two pointers become equal to each other, then both point to the same location. Okay. In the next video, we will see. Uh, of course, I have written some explanation also over here. You can just pause the video and read the explanation. How you read this P2 equal to P1, what does it mean? But we have already made an explanation of this. In the next video, we will see one more example program just to have some more fun on pointers and to understand how pointers work. Thank you very much.